With me is Dr. Luis Chiappi. Hi, Luis. Hey, how are you, Chris? Good. Luis is a curator in our Dinosaur Institute. He is also my boss. And Luis is here to tell us today about the early birds that you study. So the earliest birds actually were around before the dinosaurs went extinct? or No, they actually flew over the heads of the dinosaurs. And, you know, I like to say that I study early birds or I study the late evolution of dinosaurs. Because birds and dinosaurs, same thing, right? I mean, birds, exactly. dinosaurs just float yeah, right into exactly. birds. I mean, essentially, birds are the descendants of uh, dinosaurs. They're living dinosaurs. How did dinosaurs learn how to fly? Well, they first became small, and that was critical. Okay. They also first evolved feathers. Feathers did not evolve in the context of flight. They evolved way before. We're not entirely sure why. So what good is a feather if you're not flying? What else is a feather good for? Well, you know, feathers are good for, say, warming up your body, keeping you sort of warm. Uh -huh. So insulation, they're good for camouflage. They're good for sex, oh. you know? <laughs> <laughs> Good for display. <laughs> exactly. As small dinosaurs started evolving feathers and learning how to fly, like roughly when was that in the, in the evolutionary scale of birds and dinosaurs? Probably around the Jurassic time. So we're talking about 180, 160 or so million years ago. The earliest known bird, famous Archaeopteryx, lived 150 million years ago. That's really old. They've been around for a long time. What do the feathers look like in those? Could they, could they fly? Yeah, many of the uh, early birds were certainly good flyers. They, and as a matter of fact, you know, as we're understanding their behaviors, we know that many of them are shared with modern birds. Some of them, for example, were, they flapped all the time. Others were flap and bound, meaning like you flap and then you bound your wings. Others were soaring, like turkey vultures. Wow. So a variety of flight styles existed back then. But how can you tell from just a skeleton or a preserved animal, how can you tell how it flew? Well, of course, you can never <laughs> be sure. Uh, we measure many specimens of living birds and we know how they fly. And based on their proportions, we can make inferences about the ancient birds. We have the plumage preserved so we can make measurements of the shape of the wings oh. of ancient birds. And you know, the shape of the wings tell you a lot about how animals fly. Thanks so much, Luis. Thank you.